Hey guys, today we're gonna, today I'm gonna show you how to make a video hyperlapse like this, like this, and like this. The best part about it is you don't need anything fancy. A simple digital camera or even your smartphone will work. Let's go. Let's go. Damn it. A hyperlapse is a series of photos shot in one location, strung together to make it look like real time is fast forwarding, but also moving at normal speed all at once. Wow. That was a mouthful. Now, because this trick involves a relatively low depth of field, you don't have to worry too much about things like shutter speed, focus, or any other manual settings. If you're not sure what that means, let me know in the comments below and we'll talk about it in the next video. Aside from your camera, you'll also need a tripod or something to mount your camera on top of. If you're using a phone, you'll need an attachment. Usually, the top of a selfie stick will work, which is great because it's not like you've used that thing since 2017. Next, location, location, location. You'll want something with a vantage point, something with a common point of focus or reference for each picture in the lapse. Ideally, you'll want to do this outside because it gives you a greater sense of the passage of time happening in your video. Once you're settled on a shooting point, frame your image, shoot, and repeat. Continue this, taking a step or two forward using your own feet to measure. You want to make sure your vantage point is framed in the same part of each picture. That takes a sprinkle of patience, though. If you're not sure how many pictures to take, Think of each picture as a frame in a movie. There are 24 frames in a second. If you follow that formula, you'll figure out how many pictures you'll need to take to fill out your laps. Once you're ready to edit, import your photos to your video editor of choice and set each image to two frames, making for a sequence of 12 frames per second. But wait, didn't I say earlier that movies are set to 24 frames per second? Yeah, but technically, this is stop motion animation. Allowing your image to stay on screen for a frame longer allows for a more visually appealing flow in your final product. <laughs> hey, that's just my opinion. You don't have to listen to me. Now, what makes a hyperlapse pop is consistency. Using your opacity tool, layer each frame on top of the previous one and align it to a common vantage point that you predetermined as you were shooting. This takes your hyperlapse to the next level as it smooths out any bumps or bounces that you run into in post-production. Now, if you're a fancy bitch and you happen to be shooting on a juggernaut of a camera, make sure to be shooting on something wide and in raw format. This allows you to crop in on any edges that don't align. Also, remember to use your grid and balance features on your viewfinder if you have them. Render that sucker, export, and upload. Remember, nothing is perfect the first time you try it. Giving this practice and patience is key to improving. Who knows, someone might actually think you're good at it. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you want to see in the next video. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Ooh.